Why are we both wearing gray? Dude, we always wear the same stuff. If you, if you, uh, know. we only have like three outfits a piece, so pretty much, and they're I the mean, same ones. It's the N64, the gray, and then the North Face jackets. <laughs> <laughs> if we bought the North Faces, you recommended I buy it after you bought it. Pretty much. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the f- must, not the Ford. No, I always want to call it the Ford Mach E, the Mustang Mach E. The Mustang Mach-E. The controversial name by yeah. Ford Motor Company. The Mach- Mustang Mach-E, man. Yeah. Well, first of all, let's start off. Hold up. Do we have any corrections? <laughs> We're all just cutting each other <laughs> we off. Have, we got to correct up. the no, whole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got to correct the whole last episode. No, just kidding. But first off, yeah. let's thank all the new subscribers. Let's oh, welcome yeah. them. You got to listen to their names? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I do. It's like graduation. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Cars Uncensored Podcast. Thanks for joining. Yes. Thanks for joining the Cars Uncensored Army. Yeah, man. Is that what we are? We're an army? Uh, pretty much, right? Are we going to get arrested? We get like... issued like locks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. I don't think we should say we're an army, man. What should we call ourselves? A clan. A clan? <laughs> like the back in the day, like the like Halo clan? Yeah, like, you know, multiplayer matchmaking clan. All right, let's Just do put it. a clan tag in front of your name if you're watching us. <laughs> Um, cars on sensor. <laughs> see you, see you. Um, yeah, we're talking about the Mustang Mach E, man. Corrections, not so many. We didn't, yeah. Have to, so, the way the format, some clarifications, maybe, yeah. but no, nah, I think we were in good. the comments, we were good. So, the format is going to be we're going to talk about the specs first, then we're going to talk about any buzzing headlines, you know, related to the vehicle, then yeah. we'll get into the design, and then we'll get into final thoughts, just our opinions. Yeah, so absolutely. let's get into it. Absolutely. Let's so, Mach E. There's four models. Four models. Um, okay. Yep. Select is one. It's kind select. of an odd name. I mean, select is like your basic piece of crap. Basic. I mean, it's the, select, I mean the basic is pretty decent, like, though. Like, why even call it the select? If I got a select of anything, I'd be like, this is a piece of junk. I just don't like... I don't like these naming conventions that like. Ugh, I don't like it either. Select. Uh, the, the big three U sometimes. No. Uh, California Route 1. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. That so, has some, maybe some meaning behind it. But why not something related to Michigan? Yeah, they're hating on us, dude. They you know, they just leave us in the dust, even though their hair. I get why they did it, but yeah. California route. Then they got the premium. Okay. Right? And mm-hmm. then they have the GT. The GT is like the performance The Mustang model. GT. Yeah. Makes Which, sense. Uh, Which, honestly, is pretty sick looking. Yeah. Um, if we th- really talk about the, how it looks. Kind of looks like an Acura. It's got that Acura the RDX right? feel to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, When it comes to the GT. But sharp, sharp. I like the nah, GT. No, it looks good. Um, I like the so black trim. They start at 44 grand. Maki start at 44 grand. And you're talking about the Select, right? The base Damn. rear-wheel drive model. Rear-wheel drive. For 45 drive. grand. Okay. And they can range all the way up to 62. And these are just the starting prices. Yeah, yeah. You can obviously go up. Way more here. Really? You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, just to give you like a perspective of how it's priced, yep. the Model Y, the long range all wheel drive version is 59000 starting. Okay. And then the performance is 64000 Okay. Yeah. Okay, so pretty bad. much, it's pretty close. Competitive. I think that this, this is a really good competitor to the Model Y. The Model Y, absolutely. At first, I thought it would be more of a competitor to the, the X, X, right? But yeah, it's so same here. small. Same so here. So much smaller than the X. Yeah, I thought that this was going to be a competitor to the X, but the X is just on a whole nother, like level. The X is a beast. I mean, that's it's probably just... one of the top five cars on the road. That when, yeah. I, when I'm on the road, I see an X. Yeah, I, you just stop what you're doing. That's the joint. Yeah, you know? for sure. Now, I think Ford has got a little bit uh, ways to go to get to that X level, but they definitely, I think, in my opinion, have reached that Y level. Yeah. But we'll talk more about it. Sure. So there's two different uh, battery packs, standard range and extended. Mm. They vary on the mileage, the range, okay. based off of if you get the all-wheel drive or the real-wheel drive versions, right? And then the battery packs. But standard range, you're looking at 211 to 247 miles, depending on all-wheel drive or real-wheel drive. Okay. Uh, extended, 277 to 314. Sure. But the performance edition... The GT, 270 miles. And then they also have a GT Performance Edition, mm-hmm. 
260 miles. 260, huh? Seems a bit low for spending so much money, right? Yeah, right. I mean, that's top. T- GT's top of the line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a performance, right? Right, right. I mean, it is going to guzzle more electricity. Yeah, but if you really think about it, so the GT performance is like pretty much on par mm-hmm. with a Model Y performance, right. Right? right? But you're still getting 303 mile range on the Y. With the y. Yeah. So they're a little bit lacking when it comes to that. Yeah, I don't you think know? Ford is uh, seasoned enough to have make a GT model, you know, in that Model Y range. I think they're still working on some stuff. This is, yeah, I mean, this is their first EV, right? Yeah, yeah, and I think that over time they will get to that range. Yeah, and like I said, for their first EV, this is actually really good. Impressive. Like the specs are very comparable mm-hmm. to a Model Y. Yeah. Right. And, like, there's some companies who are trying really, really hard Mm -hmm. to even get to, like, a Model 3 status. Right. And they can't even do that. Right? So, Ford coming out with the, you know, Mm Mach-E. I mean, I feel like the Mach-E is pretty underrated. Yeah. You know, if you go through In some ways. In some ways. Yeah. We can get to that. Um, But, no, I mean, dude, it's, I think Ford waited uh, patiently. And they didn't rush anything like some of the other um, auto, uh, EV automakers, big three. They didn't put out a Chevy Bolt yeah. uh, like like uh, GM did. And they put out a good functioning product that is – we're not over here one year, two years later saying, dude, that product was crap because Ford took their time and they did the right things. Yeah, it's, and it's a very good quality. It like has a quality look to it. Absolutely. It, you looks, know, it doesn't look cheap. No. Like the it, bolt interior is just nasty. Well, the bolt's a joke. Yeah. And doesn't belong on the road. We're not talking about bolt on every episode. The bolt is like you buy your like you buy that for as a toy for your kid. Yeah. And Here's s- your first car, son. Yeah, exactly. Actually, not for your son, for your daughter. I mean, I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> if you buy that for your son, he's gonna be pissed off. No, you don't. Just don't get it for any of them. Don't get it for yeah. Any I of mean, them. I would never. Even your daughter is gonna be offended. Yeah. Um. But no, I mean, this is a solid, solid. Yeah. Let's just stick to specs for right now. Yeah. We won't so even get into looks. Solid. Solid. Check. So performance. Yeah. Zero to sixty in three point eight seconds if you get the GT. Mm. So like the performance line. Yeah. But if you get the performance package, right. it's three point five seconds. Which gotcha. is exactly the same as the Model Y. Dang. 3.5 seconds. But the range, man. you know, it has got a difference in the range, like we said. Right. But the performance is there. Like, it's it's right on par. I mean, like, it's almost like Tesla or uh, Ford was like, hey, we're going to, we're not going to, like, beat Tesla. Right. But we're just going to hit it exactly at the same spot, which is a great accomplishment, in my opinion. If you, I mean, this if is. If you're competing with Tesla. If we're talking about generally, let's just talk generally about Ford right now. They're they're nailing it on multiple levels, man. Yeah. They are competing in multiple markets. Um, they're the only manufacturer that really competes in every single market. Yeah. They just put out the Maverick. Now they're in the, the you know, the, the very, the subcompact truck market, hybrid market. They're EV, and they're respectable in each and every market. Right? Yeah. They're not um, just throwing out some garbage product. Their Explorer that's goes up forgotten. against, right. Their Explorer goes up against the Grand Cherokee. Their F-150 beats the Ram on a lot, in numbers wise, a lot of the time. Dang. Don't, aren't you like a Ram fanboy? <laughs> I'm just talking <laughs> about numbers. I, I mean, the truth is the Ford F-150 is like the best selling truck in the world. Yeah, or in the United States, and um, and now the Bronco comes against the Wrangler, and is kind of honestly in terms of design is putting that to shame. And now you got the freaking Mach E. I mean, the Mach E came before, but, but the Mach E is now competing with the Y like toe to toe. Yeah, no, I agree. I honestly, since we live in like you know Metro Detroit area, yeah, I actually see more Mach E's than Model Ys. Yeah, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, hands down. I mean. Uh, Mach-E's are popping up everywhere now. Um, not everywhere, but it's, yeah. you definitely see them a little more often. Yep. And they, they look good. They look good. They look really good. Yeah. We'll get into design. But so the rest of the models, they range 0 to 60 time from 4.8 seconds to 6.1 seconds. Kind of, mm-hmm. you know, 6.1, kind of on the slow end. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's like with the real-wheel drive-based versions. Um, sure. But pretty much, like I said, like Ford copied exactly the Tesla specs. But Tesla actually got rid of their standard range mm-hmm. plus model uh, model Y, gotcha. which was their real wheel drive version, right? Got you, got so you. now they like if you're in the like market for like an entry level, 
you would go with a Ford mm. over the Tesla because the Tesla is a lot more expensive to you exactly. know their starting price. Right. But if you're looking for just real wheel drive basic, you would get the Ford, right? Because the Tesla doesn't offer anything anymore. Exactly. You right. Know? Right. But you can get like Copilot, you know, the 360 Assist uh, okay. on you know these vehicles as well. Decent. Good. Pretty much the same, you know, Ford features that you're gonna right. get. It's a good feature. Yeah. Um, especially when you don't have the infrastructure to be completely autonomous, but like, it's a good step in the right direction to have your EV doing that too. Exactly. So buzzing headlines. Do you know any good, uh, headlines out? Um, a couple. Um, so one is that a a lot of people are pissed that this thing is called the, it's branded as the Mustang. Yeah. Um, I could give a crap though. I, you know, me... I, I'm one of those guys that I don't like the name. Really? Yeah. So, like, you know... I know. You mentioned this on the last episode when yeah. we talked about the Maverick, about the Mustang uh, being rebranded here. But what don't you like about it? I mean, when I, th- when I think Mustang... Wait, where did this Ninja Turtle come from, by the way? <laughs> this is, like, from, like, 50 years ago, bro. That's, no way. Yeah. That's awesome. older I, I forgot it was Nexus this kidding. whole time. <laughs> yeah, go it's on. It's like go. a little kid just standing here in the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> He's just staring at the screen. But uh, when I think Mustang, I, you know... I'm thinking like a burnout machine that's just spitting out like smoke that's loud, obnoxious, that smells and just drinks gas. Yeah. Like that's what I want. Yeah. Right? Okay. Like even though I'm an EV guy, I have a Tesla. Well, you're also a Dodge guy, so you're also kind of a snob. Yeah, true. But that's what <laughs> I think of when I think of Mustang, right? Yeah. It's an iconic course. name. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, when I think Mustang, I'm not thinking of a SUV that's a EV. Right. Right. Um, I, I guess I get why Ford maybe did it to like yeah. use that to leverage the name. Mm-hmm. But I don't like it. I, so I, I think it's I think it's like uh, critical for like, you know, these teams that work at like the big three or any other car manufacturers to come up with good names. Mm-hmm. Right. And I mean, they must have like a reserve, like this, like list of reserve names, like old names or something like, hey, we could just repurpose this name. Right. You know, and then, like, oh, yeah, let's use the Maverick. Let's use it. You know, it's just not it's just not cool. I think that it's not creative enough. I th- Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I think personally. So what happens to the Mustang now? Is it is it also the is it the Ford Mustang or is it the Mustang Mustang? <laughs> like right. what is it? It's a Ford Mustang. It's the Ford Mustang. So what is this? The Ford Mustang Mach E or is this the Mustang? Mach-E? This is still Ford. This is still Ford. Ford Mustang Mach E. Okay, because I don't see any Ford badging on this thing anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that even the Mustang doesn't have any Ford badging anymore. Okay, so which if I'm okay. not mistaken, so it's not like it became completely separated like a Ram. No, right. I, I, I Ram is not Dodge anymore. That's clear. Yeah, yeah. But if you go to Ford's website, yeah, they have all these vehicles listed there. Uh huh. So like, if you go to like Dodge's website, you're not gonna find a Ram. Right. Exactly. You know? So like, they so, completely separated it. Okay, but you will find the Machi on the yeah. form and okay. So yeah, on the Ford site. Uh, interesting. I okay. So I think that it's weird because it it definitely like you said like you. You lose that Mustang, you know, it's kind of dilutes the Mustang brand. Yeah. Right? Into an EV and then this monstrous, uh, this monstrous muscle car, which yeah. you're a big fan of, you know? Yeah. I mean, I get that, like, you know, there's going to be a day where the Mustang is going to be an EV, right? Right. But this isn't the Mustang EV I was But I think for. it works. The badging is sweet. The badging you know, is sick, yeah. The badging is sweet. The the three lights in the back, the Mustang lights in the back For work. Sure, 100%. And I think without the Mustang in mind, you can't do that really. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the headlights kind of some I mean, I don't know if they resemble a Mustang, but the front shape has that like Mustangy shape. Yeah, yeah. Um so does it is it weird that they chose to do it this way? Absolutely for sure. But I think it worked. It did. I think it, it definitely worked. worked for sure. Um and like people who are getting like upset like and stuff, that's just you guys are too invested into like this kind of <laughs> stuff. Like, come on. <laughs> who cares? I mean, I just think that Ford should have came up with a better name. I'm not yeah. I'm not hating yeah, yeah, on absolutely. a car because of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just kinda like, hey, why'd you do that? You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, but if you order one of these today, you're looking at 20 to 28 weeks. Dang. Delivery so is that time. your buzzing headline? 
Yeah, that's my buzzing you headlines. Always, you always got to kill everyone's buzz with these buzzing hey, headlines. You, know, these are, you can't get the car. I, will, I was on Ford's website, and I'm looking at this thing like I'm about to buy this thing, right? And <laughs> you I'm like, had Wait it priced second. out and everything. Yeah, 20 to 28 week delivery time. Yeah. And chances are it could possibly get delayed, right? Because all these like chip shortages and yeah. you know part shortages, supply chain issues. Is there any tax rebates on this? So that's the next thing I was going to talk about. Uh huh. So this thing still has the seventy five hundred dollar nice tax credit. So that's a huge incentive to buy one of these things because, like, even though it's comparable in pricing to a Tesla, yeah, you're getting the seventy five hundred dollars off. So it's actually cheaper than a right. Tesla, right? Right. And Teslas ran out, right? So you're paying full price for a Tesla if you're buying one. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, one more. Yeah. Buzzing headline. Yeah. So the Mach E passed Tesla. Mm. Yeah. So in it's consumer not, report rating. So it's not so underrated. Though. Yeah. Dang. For the best electric car of 2022. What? Yes. The, the year just started. What the hell? I know. Yeah. It's, they're <laughs> always like a year ahead, right? <laughs> yeah. Like Freaking, motor, what is it? Motor Trend? Yeah, Motor Trend. Um, hey, 2022. The Airflow. Call the year. That's not even out yet. The air, what's it called? The Airflow? It's the lucid. A, the, I call it the Airflow. The Airflow the is air- a Chrysler, bro. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a new Chrysler EV. <laughs> Whatever, man. The Lucid Air wins car of the year before it freaking... So they had like one delivery and it wins. <laughs> the, dudes, the, the, the freaking guys were still working on it in the factory. Pretty much. And they gave it car of the year. <laughs> they came into the factory and like, this is amazing. I'm surprised the they didn't say it was. I know, I'm surprised they didn't say it was 2023 best car of the year already. <laughs> Let's just give it to it for the next three years. Yeah, no. But yeah, I mean, dude, I mean, it's a sleeper. It's American made. It's totally underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it it just sneaks by because it's not top of the pack, right? But it's also not the bottom. You know no, what I'm saying? For like, sure, and yeah. the the sales are growing steady. And it's it's easy to it's easier to get because it's a Ford. It's American. Um, I mean, it's American, but I believe it's made in Mexico. Is this one made in Mexico? I believe well, so. Yeah, it's definitely not made here, or else we would know that. Yeah. Um, but either way, though, I mean, Ford's got to bring their man. This is a whole different topic, but like Ford's got to bring their manufacturing back to America. I know, man. I need a job. The, no, kidding. I mean, like, if they're they're supposed to be the big three, yeah, you know, like they're supposed to be supporting, you know, America and stuff, but like, yeah, I mean, create, I, you know, it's true, it's true. I mean, they just got to work on that, you know. I'm not saying like, hey, bring it all back in one right. shot, but I, I mean, part of the reason why the Maverick is a possibility at the price that it's at, though. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, is because, but at the same time, you know, you bring things here. You streamline things, you work on things to get them better, and you they natu- things get naturally I mean, cheaper yeah, as you, I mean, you make them here. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but you want to get into a design real quick? Yeah, I mean, I'm, first things first. I'm just not surprised though. It's it's not under that it like it's selling. People are picking this up. It's getting popular. Yeah, it's good quality. It's it's uh, and we'll get to the design right now. But it's this is not to be. Uh, don't sleep on the Mustang. Yeah, for sure. The Maki. You know, honestly, when I first saw these things, yeah. I didn't like them. Yeah, because it's it was new to you, and you were a little butt hurt because you love Tesla. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was, <laughs> being a Tesla fanboy, I'm like, yeah, they like, what? Suck. No, Ford, Ford messed up on this one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And you're just like, what a piece of crap. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can see why. It's a th- once you see something kind of threaten your, yeah, your yeah. love for something, yeah. and you're like, threaten Elon Musk. No, never. So but honestly, like for me, like the Maki just doesn't look that great in pictures. Yeah, like it looks great. Like don't get me wrong, it looks good, mm-hmm. and it looks great in some of the shots. Like that one shot you have with the snow in the rear. Yeah, I mean that shot looks great. Well, this right? is computer animated, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it looks but good. when they were first displaying like the Maki, like I just didn't. It just didn't look good to me. But then yeah. like as I started like seeing them in person, this yeah. always happens to me too. Like I see it online, I'm like I hate it, and then I see them in person, I'm like. That's actually not that Yeah, bad. you know what I think happens, though? When you isolate a car in one picture, it's like, whatever. But then you you put it in, in, in traffic alongside, like... Oh, yeah, compared to other cars. Yeah, yeah. And not a lot of cars are that good looking, in my opinion. Dude, I mean, when you see a Mach-E, like, mm-hmm. especially if you see one, like, coming towards you, yeah. you know it's a Mach-E because the headlights. Exactly, yeah. You know, it's, it's got very a very distinct. unique design. The grill design is it's nice. It's very sleek looking. Yeah. You know, like, the body lines on this thing are amazing. Surprising, though, because, like, Ford is not the sleekest... No, they're not. Car. Company, yeah. right? Um, but but this thing, they it. did a great job on it. It's they've like, done it well. Yeah, they did a great job on the slim headlights. The like tail light design is amazing. Yeah, you know, and like even the side profile is just awesome. And they Ford did 
Ford did a great job of making an EV mm-hmm. look good because I think a lot of companies are yeah. just trying too hard. Like, think about, like, the EQS, right? Mercedes. Right. <laughs> like, that thing's oh, a joke. God. Yeah. The uh, Mercedes Civic. Yeah. I would, <laughs> I would rather take this over a freaking Mercedes EQS. Absolutely. Hands down. I don't think that's a question. Yeah. It's, and they also offer really cool colors. Yeah. For this sure. Mach E. Like I that, love this GT yeah, color right here. Like, that yellowy color, the blue. That bright um, blue. Yeah. And unfortunately, Tesla only offers five colors. And they're yeah. like, kind of, like, basic. Hey, you want but blue, colors, red, white? Tesla's colors are clean, though, when they have No, them. for sure. And I it, like their red. It's because of the design of the vehicle, though. True. You true. know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, honestly, I'm not a big fan of that center grill. On, okay. Well, on this, I mean, the GT might be a GT. little better. You, you don't like the GT uh, grill? That's the GT grill. Yeah. So I'm not a big fan of the grill, only because, like, Tesla had that on their older Model S's, mm-hmm. and, like, they phased it out. So, like, now when you see a Model S with that design, you're like, wow, that's an old Model S, yeah. right? Yeah. And now you see this Ford, they copied, I feel like they copied it just a little too late. Yeah, right? I see what like, you're saying. Yeah, like, I think the original design, like... Um, what do they call it? The nose cone or something? Yeah, yeah. I think the one without yeah. that grill looks better, in my opinion. So the just the standard edition, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, in my opinion, that actually looks better. Yeah, I, just, I think it's a lot cooler, for sure. That big, blocky, black hole in the face of the car is a little yeah. obnoxious at this point. But the interior, they did a great job on the interior for this thing, too, because it's very simple. Yeah, it's, it's very, clean. like, clean-looking. It's like the Tesla... Uh, Model 3, Model Y-ish, um, except it does have that instrument cluster because, like, the Teslas don't have that. Yeah. But it's honestly the same thing. It's like you got the center display. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Not any button, like, not a lot of buttons. Does that volume thing pop out? Or is yeah, that it's actually screen? a knob. Holy crap. In yeah. the middle of the screen? Yep. Yeah, I, th- I feel like they could have did. They what the hell's that about? Could have got rid of that. Right. But, I mean, I guess it's cool because they want it probably to be, like, a little no, different. No, it's sweet. I mean, you it's know? everything you would expect out of a good EV nowadays. I, li- I still like the, the, the shifter knob. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I, I like still having, like, cool stuff like that. I yeah. Mean, the only screen. thing for me, though, is the steering wheel mm-hmm. just kind of doesn't go with that, like, clean design of the rest of the It looks kind of basic. It looks kind of basic, exactly. And it's got too many buttons. Yeah. For, like, being, like, for having, like an interior that barely has any buttons yeah then you have like a hundred buttons on the steering wheel <laughs> right you know it's just it just seems out of place to me right 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 no i got it and you. I, the the it also has a huge glass roof which is super cool too right it's got that panoramic yeah um is it panoramic I can't really tell. i don't know if it is panoramic but it's a huge glass roof for sure yeah i don't know if it opens honestly really yeah all in all the design on this thing um in my opinion is pretty fantastic, man. So what do you think design-wise, Model Y or Model um, E? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, go back I to that picture. I really you just had like it right there. both of them, man. I, at first, I didn't really understand the Y's shape so much. I think you didn't like it at first. No, I think I was thrown off by it. Yeah, because um, you think of a three and you're like, what? what the is Y's a big boy, sneaky big. Yeah. <sighs> Dang, man, you go first, man. You go oh, first. this is a tough question. It's a tough one, dude. I'm gonna go Model Y because yeah. uh, you you're know, a fanboy. I'm and a then... Tesla fanboy. You yeah. gotta stick to the, you know, Tesla. Yeah, yeah. You get you're paid by brand. Tesla. Yeah, exactly. If I uh, if I said Mach E, then Tesla would cut speak my the sponsorship. Truth. <laughs> yeah. This guy, cars uncensored. My yeah. We're... No, I I honestly I do like like I have a Model Three, so. I'd have to go with Model Y because I do enjoy like the interior of the, the Model Mach-E Y. The Mach E does not come with door handles, apparently. Yeah, I think they're up high, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay, maybe I'm not seeing them, but it looks like they have none. Um, <sighs> Model Y, man, you go Model Y. Too? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just like the Y. I just like it's it. just like the Tesla thing. Yeah, right? like Tesla's doing a good job because now they got the whole black trim going on now, so um, their color schemes are just looking good. And I and like we're just it. talking and design, right? I like the shape of the Y. Yeah. Uh, the the Mach E's a little too small for my liking. You think so? A little bit. A yeah, little I bit. I haven't sat in a Ma- uh, Mach E, so I don't know. Like just from the outside. Interior. Yeah. It just it's a little too small looking. Where like honestly, when you get next to a Y, you're like, whoa, that thing's bigger than that. Looks I like a little big bubble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, overall though, if you had to pick between the Y or the Mach E, what do you think? I go with a Y just because, like I said, I'm a Tesla fanboy. I mean, right? just, you just get so much more right now. Yeah, with, with a Tesla. Um, I'm so, not, yeah. but Mach E's are great 
competitor. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, this is a, it's not like for, for a person who's not a Tesla fanboy. Yeah. It'd be a, it'd be like a closer decision, right? Like it'd be a more close. Yeah. I mean, I would, if I was literally in the market for one of these, I'd have a hard time too. I do think the white edges is out in design, but that doesn't mean the, the freaking Mustang Mach-E looks dope. Yeah. I think the Mach-E has more of an aggressive look. Yeah. And the, the Model Y just has like a clean, like it just has that Tesla look, right? Right. It's just very like clean looking. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not as small and tiny looking as the three. So I that's why I like it a little bit more. Yeah. So final thoughts. Final thoughts. Spec wise, it's up there with the competitors. Um, so I have no complaints. Um, design wise, top notch, top tiered uh, yeah. EV design. Agreed. Uh, the Mach E delivers in terms of design for sure, especially yep. compared to these whack EV. I know EQS. E- yeah, these Mercedes EVs that are coming out. BMW the Mach-E, and stuff. I yeah, mean, this thing looks better than the premium brands. It's a it's a sneaky superstar of a e- of an EV and deserves a lot more recognition. Not just from non uh, from EV people, but non EV people for sure. Like really need to respect how what an accomplishment this is for Ford. Yeah. Um. So I I give it. I, I'm not gonna give it a score like I did last time. <laughs> but this thing's this thing is awesome. No, I agree with everything you said. It's the design is great. It's clean. Um. It doesn't get any better than this for Ford, in terms of EV. And honestly, the big three right now, mm-hmm. this is probably the best EV that they're making. You know, yeah. Um, and it's a direct competitor to Tesla. I mean, it's got the same specs. Ford, man. You know, uh, they did a great job on that. The only thing I would say is that um, it's priced a little high, uh-huh. in my opinion, being a Ford. Right. So being made in Mexico. Yeah. Also, <laughs> like if you think about it, like I, <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, an Explorer starts at thirty-four thousand. This thing starts at forty-four thousand. Mm. Right. A Bronco starts at thirty thousand. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Ford Edge thirty six thousand. Right. And this thing starts at forty four thousand, and I get it. You know, all EVs are going to be really expensive. Think of the F one fifty, right? Yeah. Super expensive. Um, but like, you know, what if you had thirty four thousand dollar Explorer, and then you you still have ten thousand dollars that you could spend in gas before right. you would hit forty four exactly thousand for the uh, Mach E. Um, that's the only thing I would say. I would say it's a little overpriced for being a Ford. Mm-hmm. For being an EV, is priced very well. Right. I mean, you're a cheap guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm brown and I, cheap. I, I would say you're cheap, so forget what you yeah. said. <laughs> no, but no, I agree. Discard everything I said. <laughs> I agree totally. Uh, I think that's definitely something that people need to recognize. Yeah, for sure. But so. Ford did a great job. I love this thing. It's sleek looking. I think it's a great competitor to Tesla, mm-hmm. and it's very underrated, in my opinion. Ford knocks it out the park again. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cars Uncensored. If you enjoyed that episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends, share with your mom. And you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace.